Hello, everybody. Happy Thursday. Let me turn that light out of here. Let's see if we can get it. Happy Thursday. Today is Facebook Friday on Thursday again. Um, going on vacation. So we're coming to you a day early today. Hopefully you guys saw my reminder and can join me today. All right, let's see. Am I in the right place? Yes. I wish you guys could feel it in here. It's about 99% humidity. It is so sticky. I'm sick of it. In this room, I've told you guys, it like holds on to the humidity. I've got to figure something out. I just feel like, ugh. We've had some rain, hooray. Not very much, but just enough to make it 99.9% .9 humidity. <laughs> well, today we're gonna do uh, pocket thoughts. I love this bundle. These are the dies. There's only three dies, but they make three different size pockets. Uh, pockets are really popular. Uh, I'm going to show you three different ways to use them on your cards. Um, this die set by itself is great, but there's a cute little stamp set that goes with it too. I love the fonts, especially on the stamp set. So we're going to make three cards today using the pocket thoughts. Did I call it thoughtful pockets? What did I call it? Pocket thoughts? Suddenly I'm like, what did I call it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, did I update my blog post? I'm thinking right now I did not. Did I schedule it? Let me grab my computer and I will do that. I know I updated the PDF just a few minutes ago, but I don't think I had it. Can I do two things at once? I don't know. How are you guys doing? Have you had a good week? We had a good week. You know, that week before you go out of town is full of like all kinds of things that you got to do. That's where I'm at. And that's why I am doing this a day early because I have all kinds of things to do tomorrow. My daughter just texted me a little while ago and said, can we get pedicures? We're not even going to the beach. I said, why do you need a pedicure? And she says, so I can wear my Burks. I'm like, you wear your Burks every day. Why do you need a pedicure now? That one, sneaky. She's been working for me all week, my little one. She's not little, she's 15, my youngest. And she's done an amazing job. So now she's got money in her pocket. And I got a head start. Um, right here behind me, you can see, um, I'm working, trying to get my blog post up while I'm talking to you. Um, you can see that I, the Charming Duck Pond class to go. It's not going to ship out until I get, oh, I see I made a mistake, until I get um, back. So the probably July 5th-ish. Um, I am ahead, which is good. I've, I've worked ahead and I've got a lot of it done. Um, there is still one day left for you to register for that class. I'm going to show you in just a second. As soon as I get this blog post up correctly. Okay. Check it for me now, let's see. Updating, updating, I changed the photo. Is it there? Friday, Facebook Friday, Pocket Thoughts, is the PDF there? No, it's still the old, it's still the old PDF, okay. Oh, hold please, hold please. Oh, I, I see, I, I did, in fact, copy the wrong, did I not even pull it up? All right, well, hold on just one second, you guys. Um, let's see, pocket thoughts, upload. I was, I was totally ready this morning, 100% ready. And I just forgot that I wasn't, I was 99% ready. <laughs> 99, come on, Facebook Friday, let's go. Oh, well, while I wait for that to upload, of course, it's taking its sweet time. Okay, there we go. One more. Hold on. I'm ch I'm trying to get the PDF. Let's see. We don't want it to be restricted. Anyone? Copy. Go over here. Paste. Publish. Okay, hold on. Now, let's check it and see if we've got it. It was pulling up last week's PDF. All right, I think we got it. I think we got it. Okay, so, pocket thoughts. But I have 
some things I want to tell you before we get to our stamping. So let me turn you guys around. We have had no spiders or scorpions or snakes this week. You'll be happy to know. Um, I actually almost did step on a scorpion, but it was outside and I was walking barefoot at night in the dark. So that's really, I mean, that's on me, right? I mean, you got to know. Don't do that, Erica. Don't walk around outside barefoot. I walked right past it the first time and didn't see it. And the second time, I almost stepped on it. It's a good thing I didn't step on it the first time, right? Okay, so let me make sure you guys are here. I've got you. Good. All right, so Club Create for July. Um, you have until July 7th. Uh, Club Create kit went out last week. I think you guys are receiving them in the mail. Um, I know I tracked one today. It's still on its way. I don't know. One can never know how long it's going to take, but next month's subscription is open. It's the Citrus Blooms uh, Bundle the Mediterranean Bloom Suite. You'll get four cards and a 3D. You're going to get about $25 in product in your kit. They come in a little uh, plastic, like, craft organizer like this for you. Um, it's $45. It includes shipping, PDF, and a video. Um when you subscribe, you can stay in for one month, three months, nine months, 12 months, however long you want, or you can cancel any time. There's no like minimum time that you have to stay. If you want to sign up just for this one kit, you can totally do that. Uh, if you stay for six months, you get a $25 product credit on your six month, which is always fun too. All right, so that is that. There's a link at the top of my blog, pinkbuckaroo, pinkbuckaroo.com. I'll update the video here with it when we're done. I do want to show you August's club. I have designed them. I've photographed. I've videoed. I'm so working ahead. I love it. Christmas. And you know what I love about this suite? This is going to be an online exclusive that comes out in July. July 5th? Is that right, you guys? July 5th? That feels like it's the wrong date. The first week of July. Anyway, it's called Seasons of Green and Gold, which I love because I went to Baylor University and they're green and gold. So everything is green and gold. So I was like, oh, this is designed specifically for me. I have to use it. Beautiful. You're going to get a jump start on your Christmas cards. But don't, this is, the registration for this will not open until July 8th. Okay? Just thought I'd give you a little sneak peek. Um, it's beautiful. The paper. I will be honest with you, when I first saw this suite, when we were in Mexico on the incentive trip, I was like, meh. But then when I saw the samples and the things that, did, that they did with it, it was like number one on my order. So gorgeous. The paper is gold um, and the, the fonts are really pretty. So I think you'll like it. But just a sneak peek, that is not until August, okay? Christmas in August. Um, the duck, Charming Duck class, I was just telling you, tomorrow is the last day to register for this. Um, I have been working ahead, ahead. my daughter um, has been working for me this week. She's been die cutting. There were quite a few die cuts in this class. So she die cutted her little heart out the last few days. Um, you still have about 24 hours to register for this class. It will not ship until July 5th-ish, hopefully. Um, maybe July 3rd, we'll see. Um, but if you would like this class kit, um, I sent it out in email, I think on Tuesday. So if you're on my mailing list, go back and look for that. If not, email me and I will send you the link to register. Okay. This is one of my favorite classes I've ever done. The little mini album is just so cute. I love the mini album so much that I almost want to do another mini album. My next class to go is the market goodness, the two market suite that has, you know, the little carrots, a little lettuce, the onion. So cute. And I, it, I don't know, I'm thinking about some kind of mini album we can make with that paper too, because it's really cute. I, I love mini albums. Something about a mini album is just special. Okay, that's it on that class to go. You can get that class with the bundle, the stamp and die bundle without the bundle. You can get the PDF only option. And there is a video for the mini album. The five cards are written instructions, but the mini album is a video and written instructions. And that is included when you buy the PDF. Okay, now let's talk about, I'm gonna be gone for 10 days. We are going to California for family vacation, a family road trip vacation. We are doing um, national parks, I'm sure you know, we're going to go all over California in the mountains. Last summer when it was, we had like, I don't know, 70 days above a hundred degrees. I swore that this summer our vacation would be somewhere cooler. So we 
I wanted to go to Colorado. The girls out voted me and we are going to uh, California. And I see that the highs in Sequoia National Park are in the hundreds and the highs at, um, um, what's the other one? Hello. I'm drawing a blank. Ellie always calls it the wrong thing. The other big national park. What's it called? Anyway, hundreds there. So I don't know if we're going to get away from the heat or not. <sighs> Maybe it'll cool off in the evening. My California friends, please tell me it's not going to be that hot. <sighs> I don't know. It sounds like it's going to be hot, but we'll see. Anyways, so all next week, there will be no Facebook Friday. Yosemite, thank you. I knew somebody would say that. I kept saying Grand Tetons in my head. I'm like, it's not the Grand Tetons. Yosemite, my daughter, my, my oldest daughter, you guys know she's big into hiking and mountains and all that. And she used to call it in high school. She'd said she really wanted to go to Yosemite. And my husband and I were like, you want to go where? And she said it again, and we laughed so hard. So now that's what we call it, Yosemite, because that's what she called it when she was a senior in high school. And she, we don't let her live it down. It's the funniest thing, Yos Yosemite. So I'll, every time I try to say it, I, I have to, like, think about it. And then this time I couldn't even remember what it's called. Anyway, okay, so we're going to be gone all next week. There's no Facebook Friday. While I am gone from starting today until the 30th, so you have 10 days for this. Um, I have an ordering incentive for you. If you spend $50, you're going to get a past Facebook Friday kit. I make a few extras every week, throw them in a big box. You're not going to know which one you're going to get, um, but I promise you they're all good. And if you don't have the stamp set of the kit that you get, you can use any stamp set. You can use the pieces to make something else, but you're going to get that kit. Um, you're also going to get a new embellishment from the catalog. I don't, I don't want to promise which embellishment it is because things sell out. But it will be a new embellishment, I promise you. They're about seven, eight dollars in value. You'll get that free. You'll also get this month's Take to the Sky All Star Tutorial PDF. Okay, so that's if you spend fifty dollars with me. If you spend a hundred dollars with me, you'll get two Facebook Friday kits. You'll get the free embellishment, and you'll get the PDF. If you spend one hundred and fifty dollars with me, you'll get three Facebook Friday kits new embellishment, and one of the new, I can never say this word either, Amory always helps me remember, eph ephemera kits. Have you guys seen these? I haven't used them in a Facebook Friday yet, but they're like awesome pieces that you can just use to make quick cards, scrapbooking, they're really great. So if you spend 150 with me, you get three Facebook Fridays, embellishment, ephemera kit, and the PDF. Now, I have a host code attached to this, but if you if you spend over $150 with Stampin' Up, you also get Stampin' Rewards. So if you hit $150, don't use the host code. I'm still gonna send you all these goodies, and then you're gonna get Stampin' Rewards on top of that. Um, if you spend $200, that goes up to four Facebook Friday kits, and so on. For every $50 you spend, I'm gonna send you another Facebook Friday kit. Okay, so that is that. Um, June 20th to 30th. All those details are on my blog post today. I will send um, out an email with those details as well, either today or tomorrow. And it's just a fun summer shopping option for you while I'm gone. All right. Okie dokie. That is that. Let's get started in here. I just turned my air down. I can start to feel that cool air. Ugh. Maybe I need a dehumidifier, don't I? I think, that, I think that's the next possible option. My air conditioning guy said, well, just turn the air down. And I'm like, that's not, it's not doing it. It's not taking the humidity out, bruh, as the girls say, bruh. I swore I wasn't going to say bruh, and now they've got me saying it. Okay, <laughs> how about prizes from last week? Patty Kearns is my random winner. And Patty, I've got to tune in bundle for you as well as a facebook friday kit to go along with it so you'll have three projects to do with your face your uh tune in bundle um patty i don't think i have your mailing address will you please email me and let me know so i can send you your prize thank you for sharing my video i do greatly appreciate it um next time we do facebook friday which i believe is july 5th will be sketched butterflies all right, this is a beautiful set. We used it last week uh, with our uh, Round We Go bundle. So if you'd like to win the Sketched Butterflies bundle, make sure you share the video and put in the comments either on Facebook 
or on YouTube that you shared. All right, that is it. One thing I did want to remind you about that I did not, here it is, here's the printout. Remember, you've got about, well, about 10 days left to take advantage of the bundle sale. All of our bundles, our stamp and die bundles are on sale. Um, the one that we're doing today, Pocket Thoughts, is on sale for $39. Um, so look through, when you go to the stampinup.com website, there will be a, um, you know, a big photo there at the front that'll say bundle sale. And if you click on that, it'll show you all the things. Look, there's some hot glue from last week. There will be a big um, banner. It'll take you to the page. It'll tell you all the things that are, all the bundles that are on sale. The uh, cut and emboss machines are in included in that as well, the bundle with the plates and stuff. Um, so if you haven't gotten a cut and emboss, cut and emboss machine or especially the mini, um, that is included in the sale. Okie dokie, that is it. Let's get started. Now, you guys, my first card is a swap card. And you know, I tell you this every time I show you one of my swap cards. If it's a swap card, it's an easy card to make. And you know, I know that term easy is relative because my easy may not be your easy and your easy may not be my easy, but for me, it was pretty easy. If I have to make multiples of them, then it's definitely gonna be easy. We're gonna use, like I mentioned, there are three different pockets here. And this middle pocket um, right here is what we've used on this card. And this will hold a gift card, all right? So this is like the gift card pocket. And I didn't put a gift card in this card um, or in this pocket. I put one of our fancy, something fancy tags in here. But if you wanted to, you could attach that to the gift card and then slide it into your envelope. Let me see if I can zoom in just a bit. Okay, hold on, there we go. Now, do you recognize the paper? This color combination is really fun. It's, um, garden green and our new peach pie and it's that two market designer series paper all right the sentiment on the inside here and I didn't put this on the um, supply list is so sincere all right that's the stamp set it's a really good one um, this is a million dollar sales achiever stamp set for Sandy Hancock really good stamp set all right let's go ahead and get started so the pocket where did I put my stuff? When you cut the pocket out, it looks like this. It's got the score lines for you. So you're gonna burnish those, and then you can adhere it straight to your card, or you can do like I do, like I did, and make it an actual pocket with a backside. I wanted it to have a backside. So I cut a piece of peach pie that is two and three eighths and three and a fourth, and we're just gonna put that on the back like that. Um, I think that tear and tape is a good choice for this. Now, the humidity in here makes it not a good choice. I actually made a box using this um, die, and when I came in yesterday and it all popped apart because it was so muggy in here. So if you are like me and you live in a muggy environment, use liquid glue. Liquid glue never pops apart um, when it's humid. All right, so I, but I do like tear and tape for this because it's exactly the right width and it just makes it really easy. I used liquid glue for my swaps when I did a bunch of them and it worked really well as, as well, really well as well. All right, so fold those in and then get your piece, your backing of peach pie. Another thing you could do with these is to make a mini album. If you put a bunch of these together like this and then made a binding and these were like your little pages that you flipped. I've seen many albums made out of pockets and they're so cute. So keep that in mind. You could make a mini album. We're not gonna do that, but I'm sure if you looked up online, you might find somebody who has already done that. Oh, also there's something on this um, card that is a die that has retired. This die right here, I guess the stamp set carried over, but not the dies, because when I went to type up the supply list, I was like, where are these dies? I couldn't find them. So 
I apologize. If you don't have this die, Notes of Nature, I believe it's what it's called, um, you could use any kind of border, a little zigzag border, a scallop border, a torn piece of paper, just a little something to go across. All right, so here's the two market designer series paper. You can see the back side, really cute. We're gonna put this green plaid piece. Of course, I'm gonna go for the plaid first, right there in the middle. And then we've got two different pieces and I just ran out of adhesive. Two different pieces. Let's see, do I have a refill here? Yes, I do. Both of the second pieces measure three by four. Judy, you did the same thing. It is hard. Every year I tend to do that. There's one or two things that I just miss and then I use it and then I go to type up, you know, the supplies and I'm like, where the heck is it? And it retired. I could have sworn that one carried over, but it did not. All right, so three by four, I'm gonna do the little flowers in the back and the little polka dots in the front. And then we will do our little pocket right in the middle like that. All right, now we have got our something fancy basic white tag and we're gonna stamp our sentiment on here. Now I need to get, well, I'll just use this paper. I always like to stamp first to make sure I know, you know, if I, cause sometimes if you stamp something and it's a little bit crooked, you can correct it the second time. So I always like to stamp this one especially, for some reason, I always stamp it up on that side. So if you're worried about doing it straight, stamp it on scratch paper first to kind of practice. Um, we're gonna take just a little bit of peach pie ribbon and my stapler is here somewhere in the vicinity. I just saw it this morning and I thought it was sitting right here. And it's not, is it on the tray? Oh, come on. Hmm, hmm. I haven't used it. Did I put it away? Let's see, no, I did not. Oh, come on. Well, I don't have my stapler. We're gonna use the stapler twice today. I feel like I'm just looking at it. Hmm. Okay, well, pretend like, let's use a glue dot. We'll use a glue dot, but don't use a glue dot on your card. You wanna staple this on because a glue dot's not gonna hold this. All right, we'll find it. It's gonna pop up here in a minute. Little piece of your ribbon right there, staple. I stamped the sentiment in Garden Green. Before I close that, let's stamp the other sentiment. Oh, it's on the other tray, of course. We'll stamp this one on a little perennial postage square in Garden Green as well. Got two sentiments going. Um, let's do our cupcake. And we're gonna do that in Memento Black. Like that. Now we're gonna color, I'm gonna use pecan pie and peach pie. We have three pie colors, pecan pie, pumpkin pie, and peach pie. I don't believe I've ever had a peach pie. Is that really a thing? Is there, I'm sure that it is, right? Peach pie. All right, so do that. Put a little shadow line under the icing. And then get your light peach pie. We had a tropical system come ashore, you guys. We were so excited. At the beginning of the week, they were saying five to eight inches. And you know, that's the kind of system that could fill our lake up, you know, our lake that's empty. So we all got very excited. I tried to pretend like I wasn't excited because I've been tricked before by these weathermen. And sure enough, it came ashore and we got 0 0.6, 6 tenths of an inch. Definitely not a drought buster. Definitely not enough to fill our lake. 
just enough to make it nice and humid in here. But there's another one. They say right behind it, forming. So fingers crossed, fingers crossed. I don't know. I told a friend, we've been bamboozled one too many times by the weathermen. I mean, bamboozled. They're never right. How are they never right, these weathermen? And then they just keep their job. And they just keep predicting, and then they're not right again. I don't get it. All right. Once you've got your cupcake colored, get your paper snips. I won't bamboozle you guys, I promise. No bamboozling here. <laughs> All right, cut that. One thing I did forget to do is let's add some Wink of Stella because why not? Let's add it, make it shimmery. All right, and then we're gonna put this little guy in here and we're gonna take this and we're just gonna kind of cut it at an angle like that. And we're gonna just add a little bit of adhesive and kind of do an angle like that. And then dimensionals. Peach pie is delicious, Debbie says. You know, I, I love peach flavored. So like peach flavored margarita, peach flavored candy, but peaches gross me out. They're a little, the texture I'm not a fan of. So I'm not sure if I would like peach pie. I'm not sure. All right, now get your peach pie ribbon again. Peach margarita, if you've never had one, is spectacular. Yes, I said spectacular. They have a place called Torchy's Tacos. It's not, it's not necessarily, it's Texas local, but they have them in other places. And they have a peach margarita that is so good. All right, and that's it. I told you guys, it's simple, easy. This card is an easy one. And you can put your gift card right in there. And uh, you're done. All right. Oh, you know what? I forgot to put this on the inside. Let's put a piece of basic white on the inside. And there's a little heart stamp. Did I stamp this one? Oh, I don't even have the white one in here, but there's a little heart stamp in this set too that you could put on the inside a few times. All right, there you go. Who knew peach pie and garden green would be such a cute color combination, right? It really works, it works very well. Okay, next up. Now, next we're using something that is new. Um, this, these frames and flowers designer series paper pack, okay? We're gonna make like a little wedding card that you can pull out and I put a gift card, a little strip of, of DSP for a gift card. Um, we're also using this tab die, which I'll show you in a sec, but this paper pack is really interesting. It comes with these sheets that have all these punched out little elements. So like, again, simplifying things, making it really easy for you um, to just throw together a project. So if you're going to a shower, a wedding shower, or a wedding, you're like, oh my gosh, I did not make a card, then just pull out your elements and make it, all right? So what did I use over here? We used this, um, wait, where's my other one? There's only, I believe there's two of each little piece. So it's not, you may not be able to make them all exactly the same. I'm trying, I thought that there was another one like that. Maybe not, so we'll just see, we'll play around. Hmm. Hmm, I really did think that there was another one. There's this one, but I don't think I like that. I don't know, we might try that. Let's see what else we have. Man, I don't even see it. Oh well, all right. Now I put this in one of these plastic, 12 by 12 plastic envelopes to keep all the pieces together, because if not, <laughs> You're gonna lose them, I promise. 
Okay, so you've got that paper and that 12 by 12, or the 12 by 12 paper and then the 12 by 12 sheet that has the, um, all the die cuts. Now this card is flat, right? There's no, it's just one piece. There's no opening because you're just gonna pull that thing out of it, making a pocket card. Here is some of the designer series paper. And I will say that my original, I cut the DSP four and an eighth by five and three eighths. But then for the projects, I realized I cut them a little bit smaller, four by five and a fourth. So you don't see it quite as much, but if you're making multiples, you'll get more out of a 12 by 12 sheet if you make them four inches wide. So just depends on what you're doing. You just gotta decide. I think I like it better when it goes almost all the way to the edge of the cardstock. I glued that, or stuck that down, that piece of DSP, with um, seal on a petal pink piece of cardstock. Now let's get our tear and tape again, which is very, oh, and the sentiment I'm using, did you guys even see it, how cute it is? May the Lord bless you and keep you. The ring and the heart are from the pocket thoughts, but that sentiment is from courage and faith, which is a great, great stamp set. And I feel like these images right here coordinate well with this um, DSP. Even though we're not using them, they would be a great um, addition to this pack of paper. If you search flowers and frames, frames and flowers, designer series paper on Pinterest. You're gonna see there are some people who've made sets of cards with this whole uh, pack and it's gorgeous. So check it out. Um, it's a smaller, you get less in the pack than normal. I believe you only get one sheet of each, but you get all these die cut um, frames and flowers, which is really nice. All right, so put this on here. By the way, all the measurements and the supply list for all of these projects are on this free PDF that you'll find over at my blog today, pinkbuckaroo.com. All right, so here's the card that slides in. And this is our um, Keeping Tabs die. You can actually get this as a die or as a punch. And somehow I ended up with both. <laughs> don't ask me, I don't know how I did that, but I like the die. But if I was gonna do a bunch, I think I would rather have the punch. All right, now you're just gonna cut it out. This is Calypso Coral, and we're going to adhere it right in the middle, like this. Fold that over, and again, the stapler. Let me look one more time. Okay, let me just stand here and look across my desk. Everything, I had it here somewhere. We really wanted to use it, and we really can't find it. Frustrating. I'm sure you guys do that too, right? Oh, man, it drives me crazy how I misplace things like that. And it's probably really close like staring me in the face close. Okay, well, we'll just stick with the glue dots again. Little piece of petal pink ribbon. And this petal pink ribbon um, is in a combo pack with some white. And then I, just to make a little gift card holder, I took just a strip of any, just scrap of the paper that you've used. And I'm just making a little band across there. I'm not even making a pocket, I'm just making a band. So you can stick that gift card in like that. And then if you're worried about it slipping, just take your, um, like a glue dot and stick it down with a glue dot. How come I can't find anything today? Where's the little heart stamp? I swear, somebody's been in here hiding my stuff. That's what we'll blame it on. Okay, well, there's a there's a super cute little heart stamp. I made all the videos yesterday and I had all the things. Here's the heart right here on the other tray. Um, 
there are individual recordings of these projects without me saying, where is my stapler? Where is my snap? The whole time. So if you get annoyed with me, I don't blame you. <laughs> Just go watch the edited version of these projects. All right, so now take that and just slide that in. That's a great color combo too. Calypso coral, petal pink, um, the Lost Lagoon. So we're gonna stamp that sentiment in Lost Lagoon. Now I couldn't get, I couldn't figure out how to keep the, the Bible verse in. We'll try again. I ended up covering it up because I figured that's okay. All right, so may the Lord bless you and keep you. That is Lost Lagoon. And then we'll get one of our dies. Do we like that? Mm -hmm. It's not as cute as, maybe we'll do that. Let's try that, okay. Um, the ring, let's use the little ring also from Pocket Thoughts. And we're gonna use um, wild wheat. I don't have gold ink, but wild wheat is a great substitute. All right. You think wild wheat, Ooh, that's that funky yellow color. Yes. It's great. My, I've told you guys my downline, Deanna, she was the one that brought it to my attention. Wild wheat looks like gold. So stamp off over here and then stamp. So you're stamping kind of in a lighter color and then it looks goldish. And then I'm just gonna take my wink of Stella and go around and then just color in that diamond as well. Okay? No dyes. I know, there's no dyes. Wah, wah, I know. Get your scissors, it's okay. And then just go around. Paper snips are your friend. They are your best option for fussy cutting. Thanks for sharing guys, I appreciate it. So we're going to Yosemite, ha ha ha, yes, I know, it's Yosemite, but we call it Yosemite. Uh, we're going to Sequoia and Kings Canyon and then Lake Tahoe. Never been to any of them, very excited. My husband has plantar fasciitis right now, which is because he was running like a madman in April. He ran over 250 miles. So now he can barely walk. I told him, I'm like, dude, you're 48. Slow it down, my friend. And he didn't listen and now he's in pain. These men, I tell you. So I don't know, we won't be doing any major hikes. I can tell you that. We'll be on the little paved paths. <laughs> my eldest daughter wanted to hike the Half Dome the big scary one. And he was like, yeah, we'll do it. And now he's like, I'm um, not gonna be able to do that. All right, this is one of the Spotlight on Nature dies, which is again out of stock, right? It was in stock last Friday. I ordered them and then boom, out of stock again. But it's in stock. And this whole frames and flowers or flowers and frames, whichever it is, DSP die cut, beautiful little pack of paper was out of order, out of order, out of stock. And it is now, when I checked, first thing this morning, back in in um, in stock. So get it. Yes, Forever Fern, I totally agree with you. Who said that, Judy? Yes, I know. Carla, men, right? I kept saying, cause you know, he's like on this like fitness, like, ooh, he's being amazing. I mean, truly, he's lost a ton of weight. He looks incredible, but he's also highly competitive. And I'm like, babe, you're gonna hurt yourself. No, I'm not, no, I'm not. He can barely walk. He can barely walk. He's been getting physical therapy, got a peptide injection. I mean, I mean, what can you do? What can you do? <laughs> Anyways, all right, there you go. So we've used the middle die for the first project. We use the large die. Isn't this pretty? I really do love this. I think this is my favorite. Again, if you want to change the paper, the colors, the sentiment, make this a birthday card, make this um, a thank you card, a Christmas card. You can totally do that and it's totally easy. Just change the paper and the stamps, but use the same measurements and the same concept and there you go. I mean, you wouldn't have to use the ring, obviously, if it's not a wedding card, but 
And look, we used three different die cuts and they all worked pretty well. Um, and the paper is different too. I don't know if you could tell. These two are the same. The reason is because this paper on the back of it is that polka dot paper and you only get one sheet in the pack. So maybe order two, <laughs> okay? Order two packs because you'll want more, especially that polka dot paper. All right. Um, Judy, yeah, he's been doing all kinds of like things with his feet, rolling, icing, all, I mean, he's been getting electrical shock therapy. Now, it's not really what it is, but it's something like that where they spit, send electrical waves through his foot. And, I mean, you know, he's not 25 anymore. What do you expect? This is what happens when you push yourself too hard. Yeah, he loves when I say that kind of stuff to him. He just loves it. <laughs> okay, last card. So the last card, I wanted to use the tiny, the little tiny pocket. And I was like, okay, this is one of those things. We need to look at our other stamps and see what stamps do we have of things that we could put in here. And I was thinking for Christmas, little candy canes coming out of the pocket would be very cute. Um, but... I'm not in the Christmas mood, obviously, right now. So we're gonna use trusty tools and put paint brushes in the pocket. Okay, so I challenge you, just like we did with the wagon and we did with the, um, what was the other thing we did? Something else where we put things in. Look at your stamps and see what else could go in the pocket. All right, remember trusty tools? It was so popular just a couple months ago when it was brand new in the catalog. Um, we're also using, so we're using trusty tools, the dies and the stamp. We're using of art and texture. We're going to use this texture right here for the pocket. And, uh-oh, I'm frozen. Hopefully I'm not frozen to you guys. Let's see. Come on. Hopefully it's still working. Are you guys still there? I hope you are. I hope I'm still in line. Um, anyway, and then we'll use the little paint splatter as well, okay? Um, oh, and then this die, I don't know if you noticed this right here, this little swoosh, like a paint swoosh. Okay, good, Carla. Um, that is from the, I can never remember the name of these, Friends for Life dies, this, this one right here, okay? All of it's on the supply list. Good, I'm glad you guys are still there. My, on my end, on my iPad, I'm frozen. All right, so we're going to start by stamping, there we go, now I'm unfrozen. We're gonna start by stamping our paintbrush three times. Okay, in Memento Black. One, ooh, that one wasn't very good. Two, and three. I'm not gonna redo that because I've actually already done this ahead of time. So you don't have to watch me color three times and die cut three times. All right, for the handle, I am using Crumb Cake Stampin' Blends, and we're just gonna color that. Now, when I started making this card, I was like, well, this is a great masculine card. But then I was thinking, you know, my daughter and my mother are artists, and they use paintbrushes every day. So this isn't necessarily for guys. This could be for anybody, right, don't you think? All right, we're gonna do a little bit of light crumb cake here, like that. Now, this stamp set has what I call it, call fill-in stamps, where you can stamp just the color, but I, I just prefer the color. Um, that smoky slate, and then take one of your lighter colors, either peach pie or pumpkin pie, and just kind of add a little bit of color, you know, to each of the ends of your paint brushes. All right, then cut them all out with the matching die. Here is our little um, pocket from a Pecan Pie. And we're gonna stamp that texture stamp from Of Art and Texture. I don't like the name of that, Of Art and Texture. They didn't ask me. They didn't call and say, what do you think of this name, Erica? They didn't. Once again, they never asked my opinion. <laughs> um, you know, I'm just teasing. All right, so we've added a little, bit a little bit of pecan pie texture, and I stamped off each time before I stamped on there so it wouldn't be super, like, dark. 
Let me turn that light around. I forgot to turn it around because it really seems a little bit dark. Hopefully you can see that. Wow, that didn't make a difference at all. Okay, now let's put one more time. We shall put tear and tape on all three of our tabs. And this time, I mean, this pocket really isn't holding anything. So if you just wanted to use stamp and seal, it would be fine. It's just gonna be, you know, decoration on our card. I have cut out, oh my, come on. Still haven't found that stapler. I really thought it would show up by the end. I don't know what I did with that. Hmm. All right, I have taken a piece, let me tell you the size, it's on the sheet today, two and three fourths by four and a fourth piece of pecan pie and cut a pegboard. And we're gonna adhere our cute little pocket, our pegboard pocket right there, about one little row in and one little row up. All right, and then let's add in some paint brushes. We're gonna add, we'll add one in like this, pointing up, and then we'll have one going in. Whoops, whoops, I made a mess with the glue. All right, kind of like that. And then we'll take this one. I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue, a little bit of glue, come on, come on. There we go, just a little bit there. But we're gonna put a dimensional right there and we're gonna lean it like that on the pocket, okay? All right, we're gonna stamp that same happy birthday. And I don't have my, oh, here it is. My stamp cleaner. We'll clean that, because what does green and orange make? If it had green ink on it, if I was to stamp it on orange, it would make mud. <laughs> That's what it would make. All right, pumpkin pie on a small stylish shape square. We've got that, we've got that. Let's move all that out. We're gonna add some splatters, some paint splatters in peach pie. And I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go around the edge of the card and each time I stamp, I'm gonna stamp again so that we have some light and some dark. And I'm gonna try to really turn my stamp each time so that you know, it's not like a uniform color. It's like variations. We don't want it to be too, you know, perfect so that it looks like it's all the same. All right, and just go around the top, top-ish, the top edge like that. All right. Now, we'll put our two paint swooshes. We'll put one here. Have you guys watched anything good? I watched Bridgerton, meh, meh. I'll just say meh. Well, you know, one thing my husband and I watched last weekend, it was on TV, actually. It was that Nike movie with Matt Damon and Ben Affleck. It's called Air, I believe. Have you guys seen that? It was so good. Um, oh, what's the woman's name who played his mom? I love her. Oh, she was in, she's been in a lot of things. I don't know, if you guys need a movie to watch, it's probably on Netflix. It's called Air. It's a little bit older. Very good. It's about Michael Jordan. Well, it's really about his mom and how she she was amazing for the time. She like worked out that whole Nike deal for him. It was a really good movie. So highly recommend. If you've seen anything good, share with us. Share, please. Oh, thanks, Judy. Yeah, yesterday was my husband and my, my husband and I's 25th wedding anniversary. Time flies when you're having fun. 
That's for sure. We went out to eat. We had a steak last night. It was some Viola Davis. Thank you. We had a delicious, went to Ruth's Chris. Do you guys have that where you live? Ugh. Ugh. Every single thing was delicious. Yes, Viola Davis. What was she in? What was that movie? Um, it took place in the 50s. It had all those amazing women in it. The Help. Oh, she's been, in, she's been in a ton of things, Viola Davis. Was she How to Get Away with Murder? Was that her also? No, that was, was that her? That was her. Oh, she's, she's an amazing actress. Okay, now, last but not least, The Help. The Help is so good. I loved it. So good. These are called the Industrial Trinkets. And they are, if you're looking for them in the catalog, thanks guys. Um, they are with the Take to the Sky suite, you know, the airplane suite. And they're great. They're really fun. So I'm going to just put them on here with glue dots. Put one right there. And there you go. Let's put a little paint splatter on the inside to carry over that. You know, it just, let me see, it is bright. It looks like you can't even see the pocket because the color seems washed out. I don't know if it's my iPad or what. But hopefully you guys can see. Just put a little paint on the inside and there you go. Now, I challenge you to look at your stamps. Figure out what else could go in the pocket. Lots of fun things. You could even have a little animal peeking out. Um, I've seen a couple of cards where they took three pockets and put little tags in each of them and you pull them out and it says, you know, like a sentiment or a sentence or something. That's a really cute idea. So check it out online. There's a lot of options for this set. And I feel like these pocket dies are going to be around for a while because they are so... Oh, like universal. Like we'll be able to use them all seasons, all holidays, all, you know, occasions. Okay, so there we go. Three cards that we made today. And I do have one more to show you. It's this one. This is a swap card from Dina Rico. She made this card. And look, she used the same colors that I did, the peach pie. Lots of love. That's so cute. And she put a little tag in there too. Um, I have a box that I've made with these dies. And I don't know if I'm going to show you guys or not. Because I'm not totally in love with it. In fact, I don't even see it. It's probably with a stapler. I might. I might post it tomorrow. Maybe. We'll see. I don't know. It's okay. It's just a, it's just an okay project. All right. So let me remind you that there's no Facebook Friday next week. I'm not sending these make and takes, but I am offering you lots of fun goodies in the next 10 days. If you spend over $50, you will get lots of things. Fa past Facebook Friday kits for every $50 you spend new embellishment, and the all-star tutorial PDF at $50. Spend $100, you get two Facebook Friday kits, embellishment, PDF. $150, three Facebook Friday kits, new embellishment, ephemera pack, and the PDF, of course. And then for every $50 over that, I will add in another Facebook Friday kit, okay? So take advantage of this awesome bundle sale. And... Um, Stay tuned in July for the huge amount of new online exclusives that are coming. On the 5th, July 5th, which is a Friday, I have five or I have three holiday projects for you. Get ready. The day after 4th of July, we're moving on to the holidays. <laughs> um, we will be using some of the new online exclusives to make a Christmas project, fall project, and a birthday project using all new products. Okay, so stay tuned for that. You guys have a wonderful week. Ha happy 4th of July. And I will see you again on July 5th. If you email me over the next 10 days, be patient. I will be checking email, but maybe not every day. Okay, maybe every few days. So just be patient with me, okay? Thanks everybody for joining me. And I'll see you in a couple weeks. Bye.